lovely friends. It's so exciting to see you all again for yet another teen edition video. I'm always so excited to do these teen edition videos because I feel like I'm literally talking to my best friends. I always am so excited to hear your comments and to chat with you. And this week is a really special week because Valentine's Day is coming up really soon and a lot of you have told me that there's a special guy or girl in your life who you've noticed and you've been crushing on all year but you're not exactly sure if they like you and since Valentine's Day is coming up you're wondering if there's anything that you should do to kind of lock them down or if there's any ways that you can increase your chances of them liking you and noticing you before the holiday gets here. Now, in your ideal world, you'd be going on some kind of romantic date or getting some kind of chocolates or flowers, but what if you haven't reached that stage of your relationship yet? What if you've just kind of seen each other in the halls, but you don't really know if he likes you? How can you increase your chances of getting him to notice you and to do something special for Valentine's Day, maybe doing something special for you or even asking you out? And so many of you are wondering if you should be the one to make the first move on Valentine's Day, like send a candy gram to their class or send them a little Valentine or do something super cute that gets them to notice you. Should you be the one to make the first move and is that a smart idea? Well, I'm gonna answer all these questions for you, so let's get started right away. Should you do something for him this Valentine's Day? The answer, absolutely you should make the first move but only if he's shy. So if he's like a more dominant kind of guy, really athletic, goes for what he wants, including the girls he likes, that he's probably gonna wanna make the first move in your relationship too, if he's interested in having a relationship. But if he's a shy guy, he may not be used to initiating relationships and he might just need that extra little push. Especially if he's been giving you all of the other signs that he likes you, as you probably all watched in my other video, How to Tell If a Guy Likes You Teen Edition, then you should definitely make the first move because it's so obvious that he likes you and all he needs is that extra little push and it sounds like romance is in the works. Now if you really want to pique his interest before Valentine's Day, it's time to start wearing a great scent. But it can't just be any scent, it has to be the type of scent that literally trails behind you as you walk away. So not too overpowering, but just has that little bit of an after scent that people just, like if you're walking down the hall at school, you want him to literally turn his head and be like, whoa, who was that that just walked by? She smells amazing, or he smells amazing. So you want it to have that like wow factor. Now in my life, I have found the best perfume for doing this and I am actually going to be sharing it with you in my next video that I'm going to publish in a few days. It's my very first ever what's in my bag video and I'm going to share with you the best perfume ever that I use that for and everybody always compliments me on. So the what's in my bag video is not going to be labeled as a teen edition video but it is 100% for you guys and I'm so excited to share with you some of my personal favorite things and all of the tools that I use for when I do media appearances as a relationship expert. So I can't wait to see you then. Finally guys, if you want to steal your crush's heart this Valentine's Day, it's time to start tapping into what the meaning of the holiday really is. Valentine's Day is all about romance and passion and sexiness. So you don't have to get giggly or uncomfortable when the topic of Valentine's Day comes up. Instead, look him dead in the eye and hold it there. Eye contact is proven to heighten arousal, but it also shows how strong and confident you are. And that's sexy. And if all else fails, ladies and gents, make sure you're getting lots of FaceTime with your crush, that you're demonstrating all the positive body signals that we've talked about in my other videos. And that way you can know for sure that if your crush likes you, that you're gonna lock them down before Valentine's Day. So I hope you all have an amazing Valentine's Day. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the button to subscribe to more weekly videos on relationships. Bye guys.